All right, we're here with Coach Doug Pearson. Coach Pearson and the Titans take on St. Francis at Friday, ni- Friday night, 7 p.m. at Lydon Field. Coach, it's week 10, final week of the season here. Um, it always goes by fast. Let's talk about how this is be the last game for the Titans here. Well, this season's been a blur, Zach. I'll tell you that. It seems like just yesterday we were uh, going to Cleveland Heights for game one. And uh, it, 10 weeks has is, is really flown by. Uh, unfortunately, it is you know the end of the season at week 10. But... Uh, you know, it, it's been uh, rough at times, but we've had a lot of kids that have really worked hard all season and continue to uh, keep fighting. Now, obviously, it's it's week 10, so that means St. Francis. Um, you know, a big game for you guys, big game for the Titans, big game for the school community. Um, you know, just talk about this matchup a little bit. Well, uh, you know, they, they're very similar to us in uh, their attack, their style. Uh, they like to throw the ball, uh, much like we do. Uh, defensively, they've had their struggles at times this season as well, uh, much like we have. And uh, they they rely on the run game. Michael Wagner's their tailback, does a good job, and David Neese is their junior quarterback, who's thrown for about fourteen hundred yards this season. So, which is pretty fair numbers, I think, for both of them. Uh, they've got a, a couple of decent wide receivers. Andrew Bonfilio is one of the leading receivers in the track, uh, just behind Liam Allen, uh, who is the leader. And uh, it, it should, we match up on paper pretty good. Kicking game is very similar. Uh, it, it should be a heck of a game tonight. No, I, you know, this is going to be a year where, where both teams are, are down a little bit, but it, it really never diminishes the rivalry no matter what the records are, right? No, absolutely not. I mean, if we were 9-0 and and they were 3-6, and it wouldn't matter. I mean, it's, it's still St. Francis, and, uh, you know, as I tell the kids, those are the guys that you went to grade school with, and they all chose to go elsewhere for school. So, uh, you know, it's definitely going to be on tonight. Now it's going to be senior night. going to be honoring all the team seniors on the field before the game. Um, just talk about this group of guys a little bit. Well, it's uh, you know a great group of guys individually. Um, they've really done some great things, and as a group, they've uh, I mentioned Liam. Uh, he's accomplished some things. He his first catch tonight. Realistically, he should break Cheatham Norrell's uh, all-time receiving yards record in a season. Uh, he's come out of nowhere. The kid caught seven passes as a junior, and this year he's caught over 60. So uh, he's really made the most of his opportunity. And, you know, guys like Brogan and Matt Miller, they're three-year starters. You know, it's going to be hard to, you know, see those guys go because uh, they've been part of it for, for so long. And, you know, we've had the heart and soul of our defense and Vinny Broadway and, and Kyle Raymer, you know, have done a great job. Andre Tidwell's come a long way. And, and I, I, I don't want to name all of them, but, you know, those guys stand out in my mind right now. No, you know, obviously it will be the last game of the season tonight. Do you kind of soak it up a little bit on the field there, knowing it's the last game before uh, next fall rolls around? Well, I think I'm ready to take about a week off uh, and then uh, get back in the weight room and uh, and do things that we need to do to prepare for next season. Good stuff, Doug. Well, we appreciate the time as always. Good luck tonight against St. Francis, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Great. Thanks, Zach.